Dr. Edvard Beneš Elementary School is located in the suburb of Prague in Čakovice. It is a public school with more than 1,000 students of primary and lower secondary grade. Thanks to the initiative of the headmaster, Martin Strelec, and the deputy headmistress, Petra Boháčková, the school now has a special classroom. We had a chance during one European project to visit a future classroom lab in Brussels. And the space there, which we saw, uh, flexible and supporting collaborative work, really captivated us. So we decided to build our own flexible space. For this purpose, we decided to use one of the ordinary classrooms inside the school. The planning and realization took approximately two years and in 2016 the lab was opened. The layout of the space, as designed by the school's management, enables collaborative teamwork and includes easy-to-move chairs and tables. The presentation area includes a blackboard and an interactive whiteboard. The lab is equipped with green screen and active board. There are lockable boxes for charging and storing iPads and further expensive devices, as well as boxes to store other equipment. The lab is located next to the staff room of the school deputy headmistress, responsible for the management of the space. Our aim was to create a new space that combines elements of a learning lab and a makerspace. And we wanted to have it open to all teachers from the whole school. The lab is used for standard curriculum lessons by teachers of various different subjects and grades. Primary school teachers use B-Bots to teach the basics of coding. Other students use other robots such as Dashendot or learn how to code through Scootigo. Other bot robots on iPads are used in different subjects such as English, Physics, Math, ICT or the Arts. There are various construction sets as well. For example, some labs enable students to connect the physical and digital worlds, as the kit includes different sensors with buzzers or lights that can be connected via the app with the other components to do different things. Teachers who do use the makerspace have to adapt their own teaching methods. The space is more suitable for collaboration and inquiry-based activities than for instruction-based teaching. Students are generally more active in the makerspace and the role of teacher is to be their guide or tutor. The main challenge identified by teachers is that lesson preparation is probably more time-consuming than in a standard classroom using traditional teaching methods. Others mention fear to fail and fear that technology might not work properly. For this reason, we try to build a supportive community. Teachers can come to informal meetings focused on new teaching methods. They can ask for help, either myself or teachers who are more specialized or uh, who can work with ICT better than them. And we also built a Moodle course, like internal Moodle course, uh, that can help teachers and they can find their tips and lesson plans. From the management point of view, the biggest challenge is the lack of space and the accessibility of the makerspace. The space is located inside the school with no direct access to the outdoors, so it cannot be opened to the public. Due to the lack of space, we decided to build this room as mobile as possible, so teachers can take the equipment and it can be used in different classrooms. The lab is mainly used by lower secondary school teachers. As you can see, there is a green screen on wheels, so that it can easily be moved to wherever it is needed. We also use a suitcase to move iPads to different classrooms. To create such a space, you need to have a strong vision and a proactive approach, more than a strong financial background. To build this project, we didn't have extra funding. We used our school budget to 
convert our ordinary classroom into this one. And as for equipment, we were buying it whenever we had enough funding available. Students are more active learners and learning is more student-led as they are encouraged to search for information, to explore, to plan their work, to take responsibility for their tasks and to agree roles in teamwork. I like teaching in this lab a lot.